How's everyone doing tonight? Just trying to pull up. There we go. Hi, Judith. How are you? Just trying to find Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. Few technical difficulties tonight, but we're on track. Except Facebook. Yay! <laughs> I hope you had a great weekend. You saw what I did for my weekend, huh? Granddaughter's first birthday. Okay. Well, why it won't give it to me. There we go. Okay, it's showing that, but it's not showing comments. Huh. Well, there we go just shifting it around on me and I couldn't find it. There we go. There we go. Oops. Just sh there. All right. We're on. All right. Hello. Hello. We're having a few issues, but I think we got them. I see there. I see there. I think we're good. <laughs> All right. We're going to be working with our new tray tonight. This is our Cottontail Company. These are like the trays we made at Christmas. These are great for putting a centerpiece in. And then you can just move them from the table or wherever you're putting it. It says Cottontail Company, locally grown carrots, lettuce, turnips. Now, I went ahead and I painted this box orange. Then I took a a matte acrylic spray and really sprayed the front and then I went back and I you know how we've done it in the past where we dab the white paint in there and then wipe it off with a diaper wipe it always works when I'm not live <laughs> I don't know why so we actually have a trio of bunnies these are our little guys. This one's already foiled with a light white color. I may go ahead and do something else to it. I'm not sure. But we've got a big bunny and two small bunnies. We have a cabbage to put in there. <laughs> we even have turnips. I made turnips today. These are three pieces joined together. I foiled the front. I foiled the back. I colored the green. I'm going to also do some roughing up to the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the small one, one of the small bunnies, and then finish the big one and do the turnip. Now for the turnip, there's all kinds of colors out there for turnips. But this foil has so many variations in it. I thought this looks like a really cute turnip. So I already prepped these ahead of time. I have my tacky plate here that I continue to put the foil adhesive on and add some water. So it's kind of, it's thicker than milk, but not real runny like milk. Okay. And all you do is you coat where you want to foil and you let it sit an hour. So I had bunnies and turnips and everything everywhere. So we are going to do these. Turnips, some turnips are, turnips are white with like red through it or purple through it. And I thought this is perfect. So you're going to put it on top of the turnip. You're going to rub it in. And then you're going to get your little brush. Which, Judith, I still have your brush. 
and I can order more if anybody wants them. These are like the best. With this gripper on here and this for getting into small areas, I absolutely love this Norwex cleaning brush. And then you just pull it. If it sticks, you rub a little more. Look at that. Look at the variation on that. Is that not cool or what? I will be listing the foils on here. Um, I didn't know the names of them ahead of time, so I will find those for you. The turnips come in a trio. I have not listed them yet. The, the, we're calling these the cottontail bunnies. They're listed. And so is the tray. Perfect for Easter. There we go. And there's another one. Isn't that cute? So what you do, and pay attention when you're putting these down and putting your um, foil adhesive on them, because this is the front, this is the back, and then you have one in between that you don't have to do anything to. So when you put your foil adhesive on and they're sitting on the table, they should look opposite. See how the curve down at the bottom? <coughs> excuse me goes one way and then another way on this side <coughs> excuse me let me just wash my hands there we go so what we're going to do is before we do the top of it we're going to go ahead and glue this baby together and I really got to be careful because my glue is coming out like crazy now. All right. And then what I do is I try to rub this around a little bit. Get a little bit on this one. If it's too goopy. And then you're going to glue the middle to the bottom. And then we're going to put a little up here. Trying to put a little. I know I had a Q-tip over here earlier. Well, I don't see it. We'll get another one just to evenly spread it. Thank you. Appreciate that, Rach. Rachel and I have a special project coming up. Maybe next week. Where we're going to be on at the same time. And we're going to do one thing and we're going to do it two different ways. There we go. So there you have your turnip. We're going to let it dry a minute. And whenever you foil something, you have to top coat it to protect the foil. Hey, Amy, long time. Hi, Abba. And twin. <laughs> All right, so we'll let that dry a minute. But here's two I already finished. Because I thought you don't need to watch me do three of them. So I already colored this green up here with my marker, um, the Posco paint marker. So now what I want to do is I don't want this to look so green. So I'm actually going to put some of the wax on it. Because I don't want it, I don't want it looking so bright. I want to tone it down a little. Which 
This is pretty. Hi, sweetie. How was the dance? Your outfit was gorgeous. So is your hair. So see, I toned it down a little. You want it to look a little like it's been just dug out of the garden. So that's what we did with that one. Let's go ahead and What did you all think of what I shared this weekend? The rocking chair and then the uh, cake topper. The cake topper, I think, was adorable. It turned out really great. And I'll have to do one on a live because it came... I had it actually... I used two um, Dollar Tree styrofoam circles and I glued one on top of the other then I had satin material on the bottom I had wire ribbon around the side and then I put the cake topper here in the middle and then decorated it with um thank you with flowers and that is going to sit on her shelf the cloud shelf we made her but before it went to the shelf it was pulled out of there and put we used two straws to insert into the cake and then put that inside so it didn't even touch the cake. Oh my gosh, she was so funny. She sat there and she tried to just like eat the cake. It was so adorable. She did awesome the entire day. Okay, so what I've decided to use for the Big Bunny is cowhide. I love this print. So, let me see where we're at here. I think this is the, the part that goes up here because it's the tallest. I'm running low on it. I got to get more. I just absolutely love this. And I didn't paint my, my, um, thank you, Judith. I did not paint these. I just put um, the adhesive on them. But see how when you're pushing, how you can stick your finger there? and it, These brushes are just amazing when it comes to using them on the foil. And see, this is the way it's going to sit. Like I said, I already did this with like a creamy white. But I may, I may change that somewhat. I could not agree on which foil I thought would look good with the cowhide or I may just distress it so all right I've seen a few places it didn't hit so we're just going to go back over I left the middle of the ear blank because I didn't want this on that. I, I'm not sure what color I want to put in the middle yet. And there's a little part we missed. There. Much better. edges here. When I did it the first time, it came out beautiful. Maybe I went too much water in this adhesive. Oh, it's ripping off. I may have to go back. There we go. Now there's a hole down the middle here. Now come on, stop being stubborn. Somebody used these, this um, cowhide. Hi, Nanny Dot. No problem. Use the cowhide on a pair of cowboy boots. Oh, my gosh. Desiree did it. 
They were gorgeous. She does such an awesome job with the foils. Now why did that go backwards on me? No, 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 no. Not. Well, come on. Not tolerating that. There we go. Yeah, I think I added too much water to my adhesive. There we go. Look at that. Is that not cute? <laughs> I absolutely love that. I'm just kind of cleaning up the middle. And we're going to go ahead and put our top coat on. Yikes! Do not put adhesive foil on top of the sticky surface. And I did. And I had this cut out so it fit both pieces. And it's short. How did that happen? Well, we're going to have to piece it a little. So we're going to do this first and then we're going to go back and piece where it can lay because that'll give this time to dry it only takes like five minutes less than that actually weren't these guys cute I could see adding a little nose to it and a little puffy tail on the back. Thanks, Rachel. Oh, there you go. Nanny Dot is a pet sitter for a lot of us up here. Where are my scissors? These are not it, but I think they'll do. Cut off some of this and then we're going to piece where it didn't Get right in there. Come on. There we go. So we piece that. This is a pretty forgiving print, so you really won't see it. Well, we're just going to do it right there. So let's cut that off. Then we got a little strip over here. We're going to piece that. Yeah, the rocking chair will be a kit or we can complete it. It will come already cut, ready for you to paint. Or we can do that ourselves too. For you. And what's nice, that little key in the back comes out. And when you pull that out, you can lay the whole rocking chair flat in pieces, four pieces. Tell that for storage and shipping. These are shaped like an egg, but they have ears, so I thought they are kind of cute. <laughs> All right, so we've got that part. Got that part. Look how easy that releases. And I thought Joanne would be on tonight. Joanne loves to foil. Sure, I'm getting it all. Yep, we got it all. Right, let's 
get rid of this. What color do you think I should put in the middle of the ear? Because I've got the, the middle of the ear here to do. What color do you think I should do? Pink? Isn't this going to be cute? And I have to get this down through here. And hubby made it kind of tight. So I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, whew, it'll go. Because this one it had to be adjusted. Well, it's not going to. Still too tight. Oh, crap. And I didn't bring the mallet with me. Yours will not be this tight, believe me. <laughs> uh, dang it. Okay. I'll try and go this way and not break the ear. I know this is not a hammer. Sorry. Like I said, yours will not be this tight. Oh. Where is hubby when you need him? Let's see if we can do it now. Watch me split it. Almost there. <laughs> Yay! It's not quite all the way down. One more. There. Ta da! Could you see a little little nose there? And then a few whiskers and then uh, a pom pom on the back for the tail. But isn't that adorable? So, did we decide on what color? Are we going to go with pink in the middle? Let's go with a light pink in the middle of the ear. Because I can always make it darker. Mm. Now you can paint these all kinds of colors. Yeah, pink. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And this one's already done with like this iridescent white. So. But we could put a little burlap twine um, bow on this one for the hair. Like to make it look like a little girl. So let's do that. I'm just looping it back and forth a couple times. And then down. can just kind of hot glue that. Hey! 
And as usual, my plug came out. Ha ha ha. I don't know why these are so difficult to plug in anymore. There we go. So, there are my scissors under there. So I'm just going to put that there to hold that in place. So that's the mother bunny. Then we have the little girl bunny. And next, we're going to do the boy bunny. Now, I put it down on wax paper because I went ahead and did the um, adhesive on both sides. So, so I, I'm toying with the idea of doing a darker Let's go bold or go home, right? Because you got some of this color in there. Now you don't have to foil these, you can paint them. I just thought it'd be something different to do with it, especially because I wanted to do a bunny with cowhide. I thought that was really cool. Now I'll turn it over because we've got foil adhesive on the back. And everything sticks to foil adhesive. So you really have to have a clean surface. No glue. glitter or particles <laughs> now because I have a lot there we can go this way there we go I think these colors will look nice with the um, orange, our tray that they're going to sit in would be this, our new Cottontail Company, that turned out cute, I love that, farmhouse. Okay, and let's do the other one. Oops, we got slipping and sliding going on here. I was going to do leopard, and I thought, no, let's do cowhide. Nobody is doing cowhide. And all I see are all those Walmart bunnies everywhere. They're cute, but come on. you haven't tried foil, you should. It's, it's a cool way to decorate. And if I didn't like the way this turned out, I can always go back and refoil it. You can always put foil adhesive over top of it and change it up. And I did not have enough of the um, 
cowhide to do all three. So. Once you figure out your water ratio to the foil adhesive by just, just a few drops, once you get that figured out, your, um, your design will always come out even because you really have to put your brush, brush strokes in the same um, direction. You don't want it gloppy. You don't want it, um, oh no, already? Nanny Dot said it's snowing. Yikes. I'm supposed to have my grandson tomorrow. But they may change their mind. They did last Tuesday because they didn't want to come all this way in the snow. So. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and remove all this out of the way then I think I'm going to end up having to foil the other one this color I think it's too light or I could put just a few patches here and there right to make it look different all right let's go ahead and coat these first before we go any further with the top coat. I know we do. We don't have any on the ground right now except maybe a little patch here and there. Um, I'm just glad it held out for my granddaughter's birthday because March is a fic fickle month. You can get anything in March. Okay, while it's drying on that side, we'll coat this side. You up on Mater Mountain, Nanny? Wow. Yeah, and then Rachel's rubbing it in. It's 85 down there. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Just what we love to hear. <laughs> yep. It's been bad. Isn't she? That's the way it's supposed to slide down in. <laughs> but there's our other bunny. So there's mama. There's baby. And baby number two. Let's go ahead and make that one a girl. I was watching those people out in California, those poor people. All the snow they got out there. Wow. So there you got Mama and her babies. Hey, Nancy. Are you home yet? Or are you on your way back from Pittsburgh? Nancy's been traveling to get back home. From Florida. She's been in the warm state. 
And you're probably coming back to snow, baby. Is it snowing there? It's starting to snow here. Judith got a foot over the weekend. We're just putting the finishing touches on our bunny trio and our turnips. And then we're going to decorate our new Cottontail Company centerpiece tray. Come on, don't run out on me now. There we go. Oh, I just love this new wood. And we're almost done with your ladybug rail, Judith. So, we want to do this to our green. Ah, too much. Rub it off. There. Get our girl home safe to her craft room, Drew. It's missing her. <laughs> now we can't plan up here usually till probably May, Rachel. All right. Let's get rid of some of this mess here. We can take this off. So now we're going to jack it up, baby. It must have been some foil adhesive on the paper. All right. So this says carrots, lettuce, and turnips. That's why I made the little turnips. So thank you, Joanne. They're all foiled. Aren't they cute? I used the um, cowhide one. So we can do this several ways. You can always go ahead and put these on a table, throw yourself some garland, some eggs, and so on, right? But we're going to do it in this. And I'm thinking over there. How about that? The, the tray kind of throws a shadow on these. And it's almost making this clear one or white pearlescent one look almost orange. All right. So I got all kinds of goodies over here. We're going to play around with it a little bit. I even had this, if we wanted to just add some of this in there. What I originally was doing was this, and then tucking this down in the sides.
but I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough room for everything in there doing it this way. So let's just give it a try. This is just like a burlap mesh. Hi, Monica. How are you? Welcome. Did you get your signs? Just want to make sure you did. So, we've kind of got that going on. All right. Then we're going to put our bunnies in here. so cute you can put these anywhere you can put these on a shelf I mean they stand all by themselves so we'll kind of do it like that then look at this I've been dying to use this thing and now I finally can yay <laughs> took a little while didn't it but then I'm thinking Okay, we got our turnips that we can put in here. And maybe we'll put one back there. And then we've got these carrots. These are Dollar Tree carrots. And I'm really not liking this. I, I absolutely hate that. So, um... I have some garland. This is a long piece of garland that I've been taking pieces off of it. And I think we're going to glue some of this into the carrots. Because that green stuff is not doing it for me. So, let's get that off. Boop. Now some of these have little skewers on the bottom some don't but we want to make this look authentic next to my turnips do you like my turnips i know that came from michael's last year they don't have it in the front with all the other greenery and stuff it's in the back um that's I'll tell you what, they have some really nice florals in the back. You pay a little, but they're nice. So what I want to do is, these are made of styrofoam, so I'll make the hole a little bigger. And then put a little hot glue in there. And try not to burn myself. Doesn't that look better? I know I tried to find a cabbage last year and they had them at factory direct. I don't know. Lettuce, cabbage. I'm going to say it's cabbage. <laughs> but doesn't that look better than that crinkly old paper? So we're going to put some carrots in here. I think that's cute. Hello. All right. So we are going to go ahead and doctor up this one. on my needle nose. I need that to push it in because that way I get it in there really good and I don't burn myself. Let's see? Doesn't that look better? Oh, much better. I 
I love my little turnips. And that foil was a nice touch. Okay. <laughs> Michaels, I'm sure they have them this year. I didn't look. I was trying to get out. I know Hobby Lobby has turnips, but I had so many orders to fill. I had another B door hanger go out the door. That's the third one this year already. So I had to finish that. And let's see. Now we can, if we want, put a couple of tulips back there, but I think they would do better on this side. And I want a third. Um, thought I had a third there. Well, I think we're just going to add this to it. And I'll use this. Don't you love that? Okay. We're going to fix that. That's not going to happen again. But the spike fell off. So we're going to glue that a little bit. Let that set up a minute. And then we're going to do this white one. Yeah, that should hold. There we go. I think I'll put a turnip over here. And one over here. All right. What? It fell off too. Must be too skinny for it. This turnip I'll put over there like that. I think it needs two more carrots in the front. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? Yikes. We're unraveling that one. Jeannie, did you see the rocking chair? Oh, thank you. Yeah, she turned one this weekend. Right. 
through. See the safety that I'm practicing? <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to get burned. It does, doesn't it? Okay, we need another piece. Oh, our end piece. I only buy these when Hobby Lobby has their garland on sale. Because it's, their garland is expensive, but for little stuff like this, a six footer goes a long way. I'm thinking like that. Then, of course, you know what I'm going to add next. My always go to for filler. And I still have a lot of this in my shop. And see, I wanted something low in this anyhow, because you don't want to want to be able to see your your rabbits. So the boxwood is a low, nice low filler. And it really makes the Everything kind of pop. I'm kind of liking the one with the white in it. Put a little of that in the front. Let's get this thing out of the way. If you didn't want both these in here, you could even pull one out and put it in the front, too. Oh, now it's raining. What's it doing in your neck of the woods, Jeannie and Joanne? They're watching from Facebook. Okay, Jeannie said it's snowing where she's at. Joanne, I think, is in Colorado, jo Joanne. I'm not sure. A little turnip. And we can fill a little bit in the back. Why does that? Oh, thanks. 
Be careful, Nancy. How long does it take you to get home from there? I can bet you nobody's putting turnips in theirs. Yeah, Colorado. What's the weather like? Oh, I didn't see it. Fifty. Mm, we're expecting snow here. So what do you think? We could, if we wanted to, we could even add an egg or two. The whole egg pick. I think I like that copper color better on the rabbit. Well, thank you, Edward. Just trying to get the string off. So we did foil. This is a bunny trio. And then we have the, um, the Cottontail Company tray. They're in kit form in the shop. It's a DIY. And there. Jeez. There we go. I think we're good. There's, see the wording on the front? That was so easy to do this time. Nancy lives in like central PA and they just came back from Florida. So they left the airport and now they're headed home. out. I kind of like the to use that as a filler sometime. Sometimes. It's better than moss and other stuff. Just a little different kind of look. In fact, I may roll up another piece of it and put it down in the um, in between the bunnies because I can see the styrofoam but I really don't want to put any more greenery in there because it kind of buries them so I'm thinking I'll add another of that and that should take care of that you won't see that thank you Just an easy filler that well, we really got those in there. And this was a design I came up with this morning. So Hubby was real good about I designed the front of the tray and because we have all the other ones from Christmas. He just had to fit it to one of the boxes. And then I had already made up the, 
the um, turnips and the bunnies, except he pointed out that I might want to put a square bottom on it so it'll stand up. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's a good idea. Because <laughs> I was trying to make it look like an Easter egg bunny, you know? So there we go. Except I'm not quite liking these three down here. And maybe it's the turn up there. I kind of like that better. Can make it look like that's coming out of the garden. There. That doesn't quite look right. There. Better. There we go. Done. But doesn't that just make it? I think that's perfect size for our bunny trio. And we foiled them with the cowhide. And we used the copper one on that one. I don't think I'm going to change that one. I think I kind of like it natural like that. But again, you could just use these in any kind of centerpiece just by putting them out here and putting some greenery around them or just some eggs even. So much you could do with that, with these, just the three little bunnies. So I hope I gave you some ideas. Don't forget to watch Rachel tomorrow. What time, Rach? You could even, if you wanted to, instead of using the garland, you could even add green, um, thank you, the green twine to the top of the carrots. So that's also another idea. Which is something different. I like farmhouse. So this screams farmhouse to me. I'm sorry, my, my studio is a mess. We had, all, an, like I said, another B door hanger go out the door. I actually got an order for two of them at once, so everything's a little disheveled. I'm thinking maybe move that a little bit closer. Come on, you know you want to go in. There. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. All right, I will let you go. I will see you at Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Rachel will put in what time she's going live. And hopefully next week, Rachel and I will be live at the same time. We've got a project. She's going to decorate it one way, and I'm going to decorate it another. So we thought that would be fun. All right, you all have a great day.